So are you creating content right now? Like, do you have a podcast or a YouTube channel? Yeah, I have both. I have a podcast called the Mindset School Podcast with Peggy Easterling, and I have a YouTube channel. I'm going live two times a week right now. Right. Um, I'm still learning. It looks a little clunky because of my learning, but I've been sitting here on a Zoom account with a $50 microphone since 2012. It's fine. <laughs> it can be cl- like if you can tell, like if you're watching this on YouTube right now, like this newsflash, this microphone's not actually plugged into this wire. Okay. <laughs> this is fake. I just put that here because my wire broke and I've not had time to untangle it. So we go, <laughs> we we do clunk, clunky makes millions around flip flop style. Okay. <laughs> so clunky's fine. Um, what I want you to do though is I don't want just want you to create that content. I want you to leverage the fact that you're a content creator. Not enough people do this. Uh, As soon as you create content, you probably put yourself in the top 2% of the people in the world that are actually doing it. Like 98% of people aren't out creating content. I don't even know what the number is, but I bet it's low. And content creators love to connect with other content creators, right? Like even if it's just connecting, it doesn't have to be like getting on some, you know, major platform. Like you don't have to show up on you know, Brooke Castillo's Life School podcast or, you know, uh, Marie Forleo's YouTube channel. Like, that's not what I'm talking about. Like, you need to go out and look for people who are talking about trauma, who are um, Instagramming about trauma, who are um, Instagramming about mindset. Um, not my, I, Mindset worries me, though, for you, because not the word. You can use it in your stuff, too, right? Um, but I think you've got to look for people who use the word trauma. You need people who are aware they've had trauma and are looking for a solution, but may not know where that is to be watching these podcasts and listening to these things. Like I have a, uh, we have an amazing member of our community. Her name is Kathleen King, and she does a program called Primal Trust. I don't know if you've ever heard that before. Um, So she started her from zero inside the Flip Lifestyle community, and she now has over 1,500 people paying her $97 a month. So she's generating hundreds and hundreds of thousands of dollars, but she's very overt of, you have trauma that is destroying your nervous system and we're going to fix it. Okay. So those, those words are going to be really important, like for the people, what the people are looking for. But what I want you to do is just like you found a platform in flip lifestyle. And we'll talk about that in a second, how you got that platform. Cause it's really important. Um, I want you to reach out to content creators, go find people who are getting a thousand views a video. Like don't go after big people and you need to collaborate with them. Like YouTube, people love collabs on YouTube, like pick a topic. We all talk about the topic from a different angle, or I'll interview you on my YouTube channel. You interview me on yours. Like you need to try to connect with as many as you can. These YouTube creators who are talking about trauma. It's a huge topic right now. I think it's one of the hottest online niches ever. If you've ever overcome trauma, um, your story is probably unique enough where you can tell it and stand out, but probably a million other people have experienced that same trauma. Like there have been probably thousands of people out there, people listening to this right now, when you said that, you know, your grandfather abused you, mine too, or it was an aunt or it was an uncle, or it was somebody close to them, right? Like that's, that's a related trauma that people are going to immediately latch onto. You got to tell your story more and just in front of as many people as possible. Like I want you to set a goal in the next year to tell your story on a hundred different platforms, right? Because if you set a goal like that, you're like, I've got to figure out how to get interviewed on a hundred people's podcasts or YouTube channels. Then you can roll up your sleeves and you can go make that happen. You can even pay to be on people's podcasts. That's something too. Like people don't realize that. Like, um, you know, when I when I reach out to people to be on their show, if I really want to be on the show, I'll do some math in my head and I'll be like, hey, I would love to be on your program. I think I can serve your audience and I'll give you a thousand bucks. <laughs> like, like rarely have I seen, or 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 you can do like an affiliate. Like if if I sell anything on your show, I'll give you, you know, 50% of everything in the first month. So you got to kind of what's in it for the host. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's going to be really, really important for that. But when you do, they'll probably say yes. Now, I'm going to add to that. This is actually something I don't know if I've ever talked about on the show before. So you've you've found something out of 800 episodes or whatever it is. Um, The other way you got a member was from a mentor you paid. A mentor you paid. And in fact, indirectly, you got the platform that you got in Flip Lifestyle to tell your story in front of your first three members because you paid to join the community, right? I have a strategy that I use and it's, it's foolproof. It's full. It never fails, right? It never fails is when I want to get in front of someone's audience, I have a strategy. I'm letting the cat out of the bag. I don't know if I should tell anybody this because now everyone's going to like see what's going on. Um, 
what I do is I will figure out who they are. Like, let's say it's uh, Pat Flynn. Okay. The smart passive income podcast, one of the biggest podcasts ever um, for business. When I first uh, heard of Pat on his podcast, I would send emails to him. I would, I would go tag him on Facebook and Twitter and I would do all the little things, whatever, eh, whatever. didn't really matter. But then when I found out Pat had a program, he had a, a live event that he was doing for 20 people. It's going to be thousands of dollars to attend. But I was like, well, wait a minute. I want to know this guy. I want to learn from this guy. I truly respect him. And on top of that, I really want to be on his podcast. <laughs> right. So like I thought I thought of a strategy. I will buy his program. First, I will become his best student. If possible, I will become his best testimonial. And then he will have no choice but to brag on how much he did for me. And I feel like this is what happened with Francine. You came in. You were amazing. You got a platform. She referred someone to you. I feel like this is what happened with Flip Lifestyle. You came in. You went all in. And boom. I feel like this is what happened when the when you got certified to be a counselor or whatever. You're like, you became like the best person, the best spokesman for this thing, right? Like, it's like, this is a great strategy, guys. I'm telling you, it, it is almost foolproof if you're willing to go crush it for the person. Like, if you will go buy someone's training or buy their thing and then become a true student and testimonial of them, they cannot not put you on their podcast. They cannot not put you on their YouTube channel because why in the world would I not want my best student, biggest fan, awesome testimonial on my podcast? Like honestly, secretly, the thousand, eight hundred to a thousand people that have been on the Flip Lifestyle podcast, like I, when I figured this out and I launched Flip Lifestyle, I was like, I'm going to do this for my people. The people who join Flip Lifestyle and work the hardest and become the best stories and become the best testimonials get to be on the show. Like, I didn't charge you to be on this podcast, Peggy, right now, but you joined the program and you became one of our best students. You've got a testimonial. So why would I not say, look what Flip Lifestyle did for Peggy? This is amazing. This is what it can do for you. So like, if you write down 100 podcasts and YouTube channels that are talking about trauma and getting better. And you see that you can go at, go to every one of their websites. The first thing I would do to research them is, do they have a course for sale? Do they have a membership? Do they have a product? Do they have counseling? Do they have a coaching session? That's even better because you get one-on-one -on -one time with them. Pay for it. Get to know them. Use it. And you'll be shocked at how fast that you will end up in these people's orbit, 